You want me to just pull it this way? I'm gonna grab the weight and you just grab that. Oh. <laughs> that looks like almost like a female. Dude, what? New that turtle. Stoked. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. It is a beautiful fall day here in North Georgia, and uh, we're just starting out a hike. Gonna try to find some snakes this afternoon. It's been very cold overnight, but the daytime highs are pretty pleasant, like 65 to 70 degrees, and we have a bunch of basking turtles right here. You can see on the right, we have two little guys. I think that's a musk turtle, and there's two bigger turtles back there, so. Well, there's our first snake of the day, a rat snake sticking his head out of a stump pretty cool all right well i was able to jam my hand down in the stump hole and grab him pull him out but that is a very nice rat snake look at that big and healthy very cool to the touch because of how cold it got last night just coming out to bask this afternoon now that it's finally starting to warm up a little bit this guy's way grayer than a lot of the rats i've seen in this area kind of neat but first snake of the day more than i was expecting considering the cold overnight what are you opening your mouth for dude <laughs> he did bite me when I first grabbed him, but other than that, he's been very chill. But uh, we will just return him to his stump hole. Very cool to actually find a snake basking at a stump in October. And normally, that's the kind of thing we see in the winter and early spring, but it's just been so cold. I think a lot of snakes have uh, kind of had to find temporary shelter because it's not quite early enough for them to be going into their winter hibernacula, but it was so cold overnight, a lot of snakes needed to find somewhere to hunker down. All right, dude, here's your stump. I'm sure there, there's plenty of underground access there, or at least warm. This is the hole that he was coming out of. You can see it's like a just a cavernous expanse down in there. It's actually really warm too. Just like sticking my hand in here is nice and warm compared to the, uh, the air. Yo, there's already another snake. Look at this little guy. That's the first garter snake I've ever seen at this spot, just basking. The fall basking season is upon us, I guess. That is really cool. I was not expecting to see anything today, much less multiple snakes already. So we're off to a good start. Stuff's basking. That's exciting. All right, so I just flipped this stack that I've never found a snake under and uh, didn't really bother recording it because it's in the shade and I wasn't expecting anything. And a king snake, <laughs> a beautiful king snake. Look at this thing. I can't believe the amount of snakes out today. Well, I'm upset I didn't record that flip, um, but you know, that's how it works sometimes. You have to actually stop recording in order to have the mojo to find stuff. And uh, there we go. <laughs> I, I really, whoa, I really cannot believe the amount of snakes that are out today. This is awesome. It was almost in the 30s last night. I think it was 41 degrees last night in mid-October, like really, really unseasonably cool. And apparently that's a good thing. I was expecting it to be a bad thing, but you learn new things every day, I guess. We'll get a quick photo of this guy. This is only the third king snake I've found here too, so really not a super common find at this spot, at least not from my experience so far. And a beautiful snake too, look at this. He's got perfect alternating like half bands down the back. All right, we'll put her back under her piece of tin, but that is a great, great highlight to the day if we don't see. Really the main thing I wanted to see today was a hog nose, so we've got plenty of time to turn one up. I've only seen a few here. They are not super common. But uh, they are present, and it's October, so we'll get back to it. All right, Mrs. Poopy. Here you go. Back to your stack. First snake I found in this stack in like three or four years of having it. There you go. It's a good-looking snake, though. Definitely happy to have uh, gotten out today and found a couple guys, despite the weird weather. So under this rock, I found some rodent stash of acorns. And, uh, and this guy, <laughs> maybe that's his stash of acorns. That one looks pretty good, no snakes. This is something you have to watch out for whenever you're walking around abandoned houses like this. Not only are there nails, but there's plants that are basically like nails. Look at the thorns on this thing. These things are, ow, see I just poked myself on it. These things are everywhere around old abandoned houses, at least in North Georgia. I don't see it as much in South Georgia, but there's different hostile plants that grow around abandoned houses pretty much wherever you're at. And this plant is actually called trifoliate orange. It's a type of orange tree native to China. But uh, 
I don't know why it's got to be so hostile. I mean, that could seriously give you a, uh, a very bad puncture wound if you just ran full force in it. And they're very, very hard, too. I mean, they're like a stick, pretty much, that's pointed at the end. Right. Got a nice piece of tin here. I haven't slipped in a while. It's definitely a little warm. Oh, baby king! What? What? Not a baby, but a king nonetheless. <laughs> it's just instinctively baby king. Look at that. Beautiful. Flip-tober. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting to see any king snakes today, much less two beautiful not-in-shed kings. That's wild. Oh, and I've got my lovely mama with me today. She wanted to get out and hike, so how are you feeling after seeing two king snakes? It's been an awesome day. Two king snakes and a couple of more common snakes too. Not bad. We'll let this little guy go. Little girl, two girls today. There you go. Let's see if she'll... This tin is not like stoking hot. It's a little bit warm, but it's not gonna burn her. There we go. Hey everyone, I wanted to take a second to remind you guys one last time that we have a really cool Giving Tuesday raffle coming up in partnership with the Orient Society to raise money for snake conservation this year. Just like last year, the grand prize is a field outing with myself and Ben Stagenga of the Orian Society, along with a number of other great prizes such as Orian Society merchandise, photography prints, and signed copies of the Field Herping Guide by Mike Pingleton and Josh Holbrook. Last year's field outing was a great time. We were able to turn up not only an eastern indigo snake, but the single largest rattlesnake I have ever seen in the wild. If you'd like to buy a raffle ticket, they're available linked below. They are $10 each. You can get five for $45 or 10 for 90. If you're watching this video over Thanksgiving weekend, this coming Tuesday is Giving Tuesday. So that's when the raffle winners will be drawn. So get your tickets before then. And once again, all of this is linked below along with more information to the raffle. So thank you guys so much for your support and back to your regularly scheduled programming. Look at this dude. <laughs> Just flipped him under a rock and uh, had to move him out of the way so I didn't squish him when I put it down, but we will uh, let him go. He's getting into his angry colors. Let's bring him back over here. There you go, dude. It's a little chilly. <laughs> it's been a good day for plants. I don't know what species this is, but it's a type of ladies' tress orchid. Orchid? 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 <laughs> That's a hard word for me to say for some reason. It's an orchid, and a really cool one that I have never seen before in the Piedmont, so. Good snake day and a good botany day. All right, well, we're back at our garter stump and it appears he has moved on. Uh, we're gonna head back to the car and probably call it a day here though, but I'm excited to see what the rest of the week has to offer. It's been really a surprisingly productive day. I'm glad we got out and actually found some snakes. So we're probably calling it here. If we see anything else, I'll let you guys know, but if not, I'll see you next time. All right, everyone, we're doing the thing with Greg again. He put out some traps last night and we are gonna pull them this morning. Yeah, I think that's it. Do you want me to just pull it this way? I'm gonna grab the weight and you just grab that. Oh. That's a one, that looks like almost like a female. Dude, what? New that turtle. Stoked. <laughs> it's not huge, but. It's cool looking though. Look at that yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a really nice female. You good? Yeah, she's good. So uh, we, we drug this guy up here to process, and then Greg spotted a box turtle just wedged under this log right here. <laughs> <laughs> Second turtle of the day. All right, well, there we go. First turtle of the day. That's Big female. female. Alligator snapping turtle. Well, given the really cool temps last night, I'm very happy to just see at least one turtle. The water temperature isn't that bad, but we've had some really cold overnights lately, like I said earlier in this episode, so... Very nice to see a turtle on our first set of traps. We've got one more set to check, but we're gonna process this girl first and release her back into the creek. Look at that. What an animal, as always. She's about ready to go back to the creek, so we're gonna finish up taking data and just let her slip right back. Okay, hello. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool looking. Dude, the water's so clear, that's awesome. Damn, how are we gonna catch exactly one turtle?
you got? Ah, slider. We got a turtle though. Yeah, I mean, it's catching turtles, so. Slider's doing that. Because the sliders don't have like that big of an intake. All right. Well, there's our second turtle of the day and our final trap. The ever-present yellow-bellied slider. Always nice to see, but like we said before, we don't need the traps to catch these guys. So a little bit of a disappointment that there weren't any more alligator snappers, but a pretty solid morning overall. We're going to probably hurt for the rest of the day and set the traps out again and check them again tomorrow morning. Oh, the spotted was there. He sucks down the hole. I can still see his face in there, kind of. This piece never has snakes under it, just spotted salamanders. <laughs> I think that's a this year baby? No, that's at least a yearling. A year. Here's our first snake of the day. A little <laughs> cold cotton mouth. Well, that's a little beauty. See if it works. I was gonna be kind of surprised if we didn't see any of these today, but it's really not super warm yet. It's still fairly early. This guy was just moving through a little drainage pipe. We released him and he has uh, swam into this pipe where I guess he's probably gonna chill now. Doesn't look very graceful in there, but it's where he wanted to go. There's another cottonmouth right oh, here. I look at him. look There's at how well stuff. hidden that guy is. Wow. I just saw his tail. I was like, what is that? Sure That's enough. Cottonmouth number two. We just saw a bullfrog over here, so I came to look at the frog and then noticed him. All right, well, we're gonna leave that guy right there. He's got a good basking spot. Nice to see two pretty quick cottonmouths this morning though. And the day is just getting started. All right, we have a uh, erosion net flip right here. A little brown snake right in the uh, the fold there. Decent snake numbers so far. All right, Greg just flipped a ring neck under the same piece of erosion netting. This stuff is really good for fossorials, and I would think it would be good for other stuff too, but usually just fossorials for me. So, lots of snakes so far. I mean, we're finding them basking, we're finding them flipping, and I'm assuming once it warms up, we'll find them crossing the road too. So we'll just let this guy go. And right down the same tarp, here is another smaller ring neck. Just snakes abound out here. So we were kind of bushwhacking through here and I noticed this little guy. The very convincing bird poop mimic spider of some sort. Look at that. I mean, that does not really look like a spider at first glance until you start looking very closely. You can see the head and then the, the, the hands curled up on the front side. Yeah, There's yeah. another little ring neck under a tiny rock. Just chilling. Wow. Look at that guy, cottonmouth number three. Same size as all the other ones. It's muddy. So cottonmouths are, uh, they're definitely out today. Looks like they kind of retreated into their temporary uh, shelter from the cold overnights and they're uh, coming out to enjoy the warm weather today. This one's pretty good looking. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> Back into the rock pile. Here's our cottonmouth friend from earlier. It looks like he might have actually found something to eat since we saw him last. Either that or he's just kind of inflated and floating right there. Well, these little trail side rocks have produced a lot of fossorials. Here's another little brown I just flipped. We will uh, let him back to it, but Hoping to get a little king or something in this stuff. We did just we did just see a DOR copperhead, so there are plenty of other snakes in this area. We just have not found them. Just the fossil reels. There's another one. Greg just double flipped two more. The other one escaped. But tiny little rocks on the side of the trail, loaded with browns and uh, quite a few ring necks too. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. There's anoles everywhere. All right, we've reached our next trap site. We're gonna put traps in the water here. Maybe we'll see some herps, but uh, worst case, we're gonna come back and check these in the morning. All right, Greg's running a uh, trap prep right there. We're gonna throw some bad boys out in this stuff and see what we catch. This log just had an abundance of amphibians underneath it. A two-line salamander, a bunch of little bullfrogs and green frogs. That one's a little green frog. There is a baby alligator snapper right there. Look at that, second one of the day. <laughs> That's so awesome. We're gonna grab him real quick. 
So that is a, uh, a good sign for our trapping efforts, I think. A very fresh little hatchling alligator snapping turtle. And you can compare this guy to the, uh, the common snapping turtle we found a few weeks ago. Um, you can tell it's an alligator snapper, but it isn't quite as obvious as when you find an adult and it's just night and day. I mean, they kind of look superficially similar. A little bit bigger than your hatchling common snapper. But overall, just really cool to see two of these guys today. And especially cool to get to catch one uh, without using a trap. Because it's normally a lot harder to do. Because they live in this stuff where they can just simply disappear whenever they want. So to see this little guy just sitting out in the open in a fairly obvious spot is very, very cool and something that I have not seen many times. All right, well, my camera's back at the car, so I'm gonna go grab that, take some photos of this guy, and then we'll uh, put him back into the creek and probably wrap up our day soon. We might walk around a little bit more, see if we see any more since uh, we evidently timed it pretty well to see at least one baby. Maybe there will be more in this vicinity. Look at that little cutie. So cool. A great way to end the day if we don't see anything else. All right, Greg has uh, released our guy back into the water. He's probably not gonna do much, seeing as he didn't do anything when we initially found him. But very cool. All right, guys, we're back out here the next morning. Let's see what our efforts last night have uh, produced. We had a lot of rain overnight, not enough to really raise the creek level much, but enough to hopefully stimulate some activity. First trap, not looking super uh, promising. I'm gonna slip into the creek. Sliders! sliders. Three of them. <laughs> Three sliders, okay. All right, we've got uh, two big uh, melanistic male sliders, not big. And then a, uh, an actually big female, you can see. She's quite a bit bigger than they are. But first trap, whoa! Good catch, Turtle Greg. <laughs> All right, we're approaching our last trap. It kind of just looked like you were flicking me off. Yeah, it's, it's finger crossed. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Slider. Nice. We have a turtle. Yeah. I didn't completely botch the mission. We did the thing where we free the turtle. <laughs> he slipped out. There was a slider in there, though. First and last trap. The mouth is crazy. But, uh, yeah, turtle trapping, not the best today. Four sliders, three in one trap. So we're gonna go probably flip some tin to wrap up the day. All right, this piece has been disappointing this year, so let's see if today's gonna do the trick. No, oh, there's a box turtle down there. Hold up. This is pretty cool. I've not seen many box turtles in the yard lately, and this one is beautiful. Look at that. I don't know how well he's coming out on, on my phone, but that thing is stunning. I really don't think this thing is coming out very accurately on my uh, phone right now because it's in the shade. That is a really, really nice box turtle. Don't think I've ever seen this one before, and it's definitely been a while if I have. There's another box turtle down there. What? Why are there box turtles all over? This is so weird. Not sure I'm gonna be able to prop this. Now this is one I've probably seen before. It looks pretty familiar. You can see just how worn and old that shell is. This turtle has probably lived in this area a long time. Ooh, big rat snake. That's a first under here. Well, there we go. This guy's deep in shed, but very nice to see something using this big board finally. I had to move it last year, so it's nice to see that its new spot is actually producing snakes. I got a hog nose under this board where it was a few feet away uh, previously, so I have hopes that that will happen again at some point. Looks like he has quite a few blisters that he's gonna want to shed off before winter. All right, everyone. Well, I have flipped everything now. 
just the one rat snake in the box turtles, but I'm not going to complain about that. It's been a great couple of weeks here as we start moving into later October, and I think we probably still have a couple more weeks of peak fall herping ahead of us. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>